Hey, welcome to yet another interesting session of resume and today it's the skill influencer Manish Nair presenting the importance in the most concurrent resume 2020. Let's begin. We all know that resume is a professional profile. So professional profile means we need to be very very precise to the point make it look like a professional so that the appeal comes and we are called for the personal interview actually resume is nothing but a look and feel which in our absence makes our prospective employer to get that kind of an appeal and call us for the personal interview the second thing is do not exceed resume which is meant for fresher for maybe more not more than two pages third thing is Resumes are not to Im uh, express, they are just to impress. So, so bullet points with no full stop, this is another highlight of a resume. Two font size and font type. So there has to be two font type. Let's say if you are choosing New Times Roman, that becomes one font type. And the name should be of uh, one font type and the rest all should be Verdana, Calibri or Arial, whatever. The font uh, size should be let's say name should be of 16 to 18 font size the rest should be minimum of 12 size what all points should be incorporated in resume we'll get it in detail how let me push this ahead so the first thing first is the header of the resume header of the resume let's say if you are seeing on the slide that Akshat Gupta is occupying the left hand side then the professional photograph of yours should be occupy on the right hand side and vice versa let's say Akshat Gupta comes on the right hand side then the pic comes on the left hand side we don't mind even if you keep Akshat Gupta in the middle your name in the middle with 16 to 18 font size of one font type typical and the address should be always always on the left hand side and it should be tab separated you should not use the space button of laptop or your uh, handset key it should be separated by the tab so let's say if my address is 49 birdie layout it is tab separated and on the extreme right hand side you have my email id and so goes the same for your for contact number so my Borgao Nagpur is my second line of the address which is tab, sep tab separated and on the extreme right hand side you have my contact number. So all in all the main purpose of this header is to give a symmetric look. Symmetric look is very very important here. So give your header the right chance, the maximum visibility and the symmetric order so that it looks appealing and pleasing to the eyes that is header part let's go to the professional statement what do you mean by professional statement is the career objective the career objective first of all spell check is very very important many a times when I, I see that it has been copied through internet it is carrier it is not career so c-a-r-i-e-r -E instead the right spelling c-a-r-e-e-r -E career objective should be not more than one to two meaningful sentence so here it goes uh, I am a trained fresher with an exposure to information technology, willing to join a growing organization and exhibit my full potential. So this is one kind of a career objective which is, which is looking very fresh and new, not borrowed from any internet source. So evolve with your own career objective. One, I have come up with the second objective as uh, career objective as well, which I am spelling it out for you. Aspiring to make a mark in the field of computer application where my learning are translated into performance, ensuring mutual growth. So this is another way of putting your career objective, a very noticeable way. If you have understood career objective, let's march ahead. Academic credentials come as this, the third, third important thing. So start with the present qualification. Let's say if you are in the 5th SEM, 6th SEM or 7th SEM, normally 6th uh, SEM or 5th SEM or 7th SEM decides your first interview. So in case if you are appearing and you are serious to maybe kickstart your career, then the aggregate of the penultimate year till the year you have studied, that percentile should feature as first to mention. 
followed by HSSC or diploma in case if it is there or SSC. Next slide speaks about technical qualification. So educational uh, academic credentials are different from technical qualification. Let's say you are an IT guy. IT have all that quintessential IT skills. So prioritize your big skill as first and go on to write the smallest as the last point. How it is? Let's say if coding is the best skill that you possess. So write it first. Let's say if you have the second uh, best IT skill as languages write a second web designing third MS office so what is next is actually in series to technical qualification and that is technical skills what do you mean by technical skill is if I talk about IT engineers and or engineers in specific engineers have only four job in hand and that is design develop install or make it operational or functional and last fourth is maintain so out of the four skills IT uh, student or IT job aspirant can be you know clubbed in any way whichever skill that he hones well should be highlighted but at the same time there are many technical skills uh, with uh, you know different job description that mentioned so I have just uh, you know highlighted them for example IT consultant could be a job description with different skills requirements so you need to follow the job description and maybe form those technical skills very specific to that particular job profile so I have just listed for your you know benefit internship plays a very important role so every point in the internship should be in a bullet form with no full stop mention what is your takeaway from the internship what is that you have learned and the most important thing is whether you have honed new skill sets through internship so if these things are to be mentioned mention in bullet points and give your learning and skill sets out of the internship nothing else next is projects projects would again come uh, or comprise of the topic then the bullet point continues the objective of that particular project the process that you have take and the inference that you have drawn as an example for for engineers right project title team members and description of project I have given you this as an example so for you to validate and maybe update your resume according to this format okay next is the general skill sets or the soft skill that you possess or the life skill that you possess very specific to the job description you should mention so what I have done is I have researched and I have come with a few skill sets which are in demand in requirement in the year 2020 big picture thinking is something that all the HR or employer seek what is this let's say if you are not aware of Maya if your animation is not that good or if the virtual VFX is not uh, you know in your mind on till till yet I think big picture thinking is something that is existing but you may not have done or on as of yet and you are aspiring to make it big so you know think of big and maybe be clear with what you want in life second is adaptability whether you're coming from a small town or any any city and you are you no know, not averse to relocation i think then ad adaptability and flexibility is what is the biggest ask of it sector third is aptitude aptitude is the logical reasoning whether you apply your mind you whether you apply things from uh, whatever you have learned the wisdom that we call i think if you are good at it then aptitude willingness to learn how fast or how good learner you are i think this is often tested critical thinkers critical thinkers are the one who are actually curious and creative curious and creative are the it minds and those are the people who critically think also so this is also one of the basic requirement empathy we all talk about but we don't show or we don't understand empathy is has to do with let's say if your uh, hand is fractured now and someone says that i can empathize that means it is true it holds true only when the the person who is actually empathizing with us he has gone that fracture or he has suffered that fracture then only he'll understand so empathy is to get into other shoe feel that emotion empathy these are few important skill sets that uh, practically 2020 
employers or the HRs or the recruiters ask. Okay, the next on the list is participation. If you have participated in any event, workshop, any anything in the school or college, then mention that event again in bullet point. What was your role? You need to define that role. Even if you have not performed as a leader, not to be worried. But a key important role may be bringing in the sponsor or maybe decoration, maybe management, any sort of thing that you have done, I think define your role again in a bullet. Team size, this again gives you, uh, you know, reflects you as a team player. So please mention that and any certificate, citation or appreciation awarded one line. That's it. So this will have a great impact in the eye of HR if he sees that your participation is actually you are you know an initiator you are a team player you are disciplined there are so many you know skill sets or traits which are uh, reflected through these points so make it a bullet point and let it be noticed able right? let it be noticed by the HR okay now last is the personal detail where your date of birth is there but not before your name so you can again have a choice to give your name mention your name full name date of birth and mention it with exact date then month and the year your father's or mother's name whatever is the trend in your case and in case if the permanent address is already written there then you don't need to in case if you do not choose to write permanent address or address there and in the header section you can write it in personal details and the last thing that I am touching here is signature normally date is forgotten so date occupies the left hand side and the first of the page uh, the in fact the, on the bottom side and uh, tab separated is the signature of the candidate and below the date you have again a symmetric place you know occupying its its place tab separated with the name so this should complete the entire format of uh, resume remember resume is a standard document but becomes dynamic because every job description needs a different resume i have just you know come up with one such template uh, for your reference so i'm just putting it as my last slide right and as i have mentioned as i've been telling you throughout my presentation i have mentioned the same in my template so here it is uh, here i'm finishing my presentation of resume thank you so much but at the same time if you find any question you are most welcome to drop in the comment box so that i answer them back and let me tell you that i am a facilitator and a skill influencer for life not for this slide itself or this slide show itself right thank you best wishes to all